Hey guys, welcome back to yet another exciting video from Deb Deb. On today's segment of Kitchen with Deb Deb, I will be making buns. Yes, yeah, some people call it buns, some people call it rock buns. I hope you enjoy this, so let's get started. Ingredients needed for rock buns include our flour, our sugar, our melted butter, our nutmeg, our milk, yes I'm using the liquid milk, our nutmeg, our baking powder, our egg, um, a plain bowl, a cold bottle of water and yeah that's our instrument that we're going to be making use of and yeah let's just get started and I will tell you why you need cold water and cold milk and if possible cold egg but let's get started. First, you want to get your bowl and put in your sieve, then sieving your, in sieving your flour into the bowl. Make sure you sieve it very well. After you have sieved in your flour, you then want to add your baking powder into the, into the flour. Then get your sugar and also add your sugar. You also make sure you also add your salt at this moment. Then you add your nutmeg powder. Yes, this is us adding all our dry ingredients into the bowl. You want to do that right now. Upon adding all the dry ingredients, you then want to take your wooden stick and then mix the mixture, mix it very well. Then also create an hole inside your bowl, just create like a well and hole. Then get your melted butter and your egg and pour into that hole at this moment. And then you pour in your, but your melted butter also. After doing that, you then want to pour in a little bit of your milk, not all your milk at this moment, just a little bit of your milk and then give it a and then start mixing the flour all together now why we don't want to rush and pour our liquid is because we want to be able to control the consistency of this dough you don't want to rush it you want to take your time so that you don't get so liquid um, dough you want to be able to control your dough so you, you pour in your liquid step by step also another tip i want to tell you about making buns is that you want to make use of cold liquid whatever liquid you are making even when you melt your butter you don't want to use it white or you want it to cool down and even your egg if possible make use of cold egg make use of cold milk make use of cold water you want to make sure your liquid is cold this helps the bonds process trust me there's a big difference in this so you always want to make use of cold liquid so yeah you keep doing that and you mix you continue mixing your mixture until until your mixture become sticky and stretchy so you continue mixing the mixture had milk or water any one you want at each point until you get the dough you are what you want until you get that dough to be sticky and stretchy you continue doing the mixture but do not pour all the old liquid at once upon getting your dough to be sticky and stretchy you set aside go to your cooker and start the and start the frying process you want to get oil into the pan now for buns you want to cook on medium heat guys medium heat your oil doesn't need to be necessarily so hot no then for the butter you then take in the butter now let me give you a tip for the butter so for the butter process just because it's sticky and stretchy you might just want to grease your hand if you'll be using your hand grease your hand with a little bit of oil to help you to be able to take it and then drop it into your hot oil or if you have your ice cream scoop you could make use of that now you put it into the um, oil into the hot oil and then keep turning with time and all and buns takes like 10 to 15 minutes to fry so give it time don't rush the process and again you make sure that your cooker is on medium heat you don't want it on high heat if possible low heat that's what you want to fry your buns with and once you start seeing cracks around then your buns is ready it's ready then you scoop it out into your kitchen paper towel and leave it to air for a bit and your buns is ready to be eaten that's the end of today's video but before you go tell me what we, what do you enjoy eating your buns with do you enjoy it eating with malt with smoothies with tea or with soda anything comments in the tell me in the comment section let's get talking but this is how i enjoyed my buns that day i enjoyed it with, with the organa coffee if you want to now achieve this drink guys the recipe is already up you can check my channel i actually made it i recorded it also but this was how i enjoyed my buns please don't forget to like this video if you did enjoy this content remember to subscribe to my channel for more content and yeah share with your loved ones also thanks for watching to my next video stay blessed